国立武林高中啊，教务主任谢文斌谢主任啊，哎，我们哈、啊、尊敬的我们的哈评判啊评审、啊、老师啊，我们外交部的以及教育部的同仁，那呃各位带队老师，以及最重要的哈、啊，来参加我们哈、啊、外交小尖兵哈、啊、英语种子队比赛的我们的所有同学们啊，大家早安，大家好。我在这边哈，首先哈代表外交部哈，感谢各位哈评判老师啊、带队老师以及同学们的这个莅临哈，真的非常谢谢你们啊。那也在这边也特别哈感谢武林高中好提供人力跟物力方面的资源，外交部跟教育部合办啊外交小尖兵已经第十七届了，那十七年来哈在不同的场地啊不同的地方有非常多优秀的年轻的学生。啊，来参与这项活动。据我们外交部的统计，十七年来已经有超过两千两百个团队，也是两千两百多所学校，超过九千位的同学，啊，来参与这个活动。那很多同学，哈，在各行各业毕业之后，都有非常杰出表现，也有好多位已经现在进入我们外交部的工作行列。所以，各位同学们，好，你们事实上，你们身上是啊，肩负着一个优良的一个传统。也希望在你们里面，未来有加入我们中华民国外交工作的一个行列。那在这个地方哈，哈，真的我哈感觉到非常非常的高兴，因为今年的比赛哈跟往年一样非常的激烈，啊，根据我们的统计，今年有一百零三所学校组成了一百零三个坚强的团队来参与这项比赛，其中北区这边有三十七队，中区三十四队。南区三十二队，那中区的三十四队啊，已经在上礼拜在啊这个台中的新民高中举办比赛完毕，而且有六所学校已经哈进、啊、入复赛。那诶、欸、北区三十七所学校就在今天早上这个地方展开啊这个哈竞赛。那三十七所学校大家可以知道，北中南以往根据我们以往的经验，北区是实力最坚强。啊，也是竞争最激烈的地方，但是我相信大家哈、啊、都是充分做好了一切相关的这个准备哈、啊，来来来这边表现的。等一下，我们大家就拭目以待。那这次我们的主题是青年新方向，前进新南向，青年新方向。那希望等一下我们会在这个地方会以这个题目来跟大家来出题。那也希望大家。啊，充分发挥大家的创意跟思维，在这个部分好好的发挥。那在这里啊，最后啊，我只想跟大家说一下，所有来参与的同学们，不论最后哈、啊、比赛的结果怎么样，你们都是最优秀的。你们不哈、啊、不单是代表了学校，哈、啊，代表了你们自己哈、啊、这个哈、啊、优秀的实力，也代表了大家对你们的一个肯定。啊，在这里，我们希望大家待会哈、啊、全力哈、啊、以赴。那我们，包括我以及我们台下的评判老师，哈，也期待你们哈这个精彩的演出，我们大家拭目以待。那最后啊，再次感谢武林高中协助哈办理这次活动，好，谢谢。第一队表演题目是《Dare to Dream》，计时开始。This video, I can't imagine it's already two years. What a masterpiece, isn't it? Don't you think I'm a genius? <sighs> Don't tell me that's a costume. Yeah, we're supposed to have a dress code for our two-year reunion. But it's going to be weird. Just go change it. Kelly, do you still want to be a reporter? Yeah, it's my dream to work in Southeast Asia. So I've been doing field investigations and kept filming short videos to know more about them. Yeah, by watching those short films, even though I'm in Taiwan, I would feel more like home. That's my intention to help those immigrants to adopt a new environment sooner. I hope someday I can run a southbound TV station in the near future. A southbound TV station? Yep, I plan to design some programs to help them in various directions. 
such as language education and cultural exchanges. You show great ambition about it. I bet your dream will come true soon. Wow, kangaroo! I'm a chubby, hopping kangaroo. That's, That's adorable. adorable. Look, my latest invention. Ganaka durian facial mask. Ganaka? Are you serious? Ganaka is one of the traditional beauty products that we use for more than two thousand years. But why with durian? Most people don't like its distinctive smell. I suggest you replace it with Cypress essential oil. The application of Cypress has a long history, and its scent will make you relax. I'm an expert in cosmetics, and I have applied high touch skill to remove the funny odor away. Trust me, you won't regret it. But Cypress will make your skin smoother, moisturized, and look younger. So does durian. And Cypress sounds costly. I intend to make something that everybody can afford. Most people regard durian as food rather than beauty product. Taiwan cypress is famous for its oil production and fragrance, so it has better reputation than durian. You underrate the value of durian. In Southeast Asia countries, we put durian starch on our face to remove speckles and whiten our skins. Oh, so that's why it looks so bright. That's right. Durian is the best thing that I've ever come up with. Yeah, the scent of durian always reminds me of my hometown. Once I took a group abroad during my intern, and they were so obsessed with facial care products. If you use Cypress, maybe you attract more potential customers. Wow, you're a tour guide now. Not yet, but it's my dream to go back to Australia and be a cloud tour guide. What's that? Um, there's a kind of traveler who is between a backpacker and group tourist. They will book their own package tour, but also find a local tour guide to explore the destination deeper. But hiring a local tour guide is expensive. That's right. So I plan to create a cloud tour guide app, which can offer the same service but with a digital device. It's more affordable and flexible. Can I see it? Sure. Oh, hold on. You can help me to promote my mask in your tour. That's interesting. Maybe I can produce a program on Southbun TV station about the beauty industries in Southbun countries. In the near future, I plan to run a virtual shop so everybody around the world can buy my product. Wait! To increase the profit, you should adopt these two ingredients to create country limited products featuring durian and sunpress. That sounds like a brilliant idea, Winnie. No wonder you major in marketing management. By the way, what's your dream, Winnie? I plan to pursue a master's degree in Thailand and Australia. Why do you want to go back? And how can you achieve that at the same time? Well, the universities in Thailand and Australia cooperate with each other, so I can get double diplomas after I graduate. Wow, awesome. I suggest we both work together with the help of electronic commerce direct marketing, research and design, and even TV stations. I bet we can push our products to a new era. That's really something. Hey, why don't we name our company Matt, which means a company run by Myanmar, Australia, Thailand, and Taiwan. Wow, based on our multicultural background, someday we can put our products on a map. In this generation, our mission is to broaden our friendship in different countries. No matter where we come from or where we will be, nothing, nothing can hinder us from realizing our dreams. Thank, Thank you. you. The second question is about TI Medicine. Good morning, Matt. My name is Cello. Here is my resume. I think I met all the requirements for this position. I hope we can work together. You're hired. Your resume is so impressive. However, I'm wondering what was your motivation for traveling so far away from your country? Actually, my passion and courage come from my father who died of tuberculosis. Because my family couldn't afford the high cost of medical treatment, I'm eager to find affordable cure for others. Wow, you're such 
just jump with wooden. However, in order to avoid running the risk of contracting tuberculosis, children in Taiwan are required to get injected with the BCG. Isn't it the same case in Indonesia? Well, yes and no. We do have a vaccine in Indonesia, but unluckily, very few families can afford to get it. So, I'm here to find the solution. Hmm. Oh, a fantastic idea just flashed into my mind. I think that we can work together finding an affordable cure against tuberculosis. I have a colleague in Indonesia. Therefore, I, Dr. Lina from Taiwan, and you, Chelo from Indonesia, are ready to give her a hand. It sounds great. Let's do it. examination to check your body next week. After that, you need to come back for further treatment. And here is the suggestion. Wait, I don't have time or money for further examination or treatment. Well, I need to look after my mother and my kids. Could you give me some medicine? As a doctor, I can't just give you the medicine without complete examination. Also, <coughs> I'm worried that your kids and you are under a high risk of contracting tuberculosis. Take my advice. Let me give you a body checkup. I think you don't know my situation. I need to take care of my family, but I don't have money for this treatment. I need to go for my work. Thank you for your time. Wait, Julia. <coughs> what can I do for her? Hello, Dr. Nora Surface. How can I help you? Tuberculosis have been increasing. And the problem is that most patients don't understand the risk of a disease. I really want to help them, but they just don't listen. <sighs> my friend, the sad story happened to my assistant, Cello. And because of her courage and eagerness to help people with tuberculosis, we are here to help you figure out a solution. Yes, and solve the problem together. So, what can we do first? I'm working on special medicine to combat the disease, but with my own efforts, it's not progressing enough. Now, as a team, I think we can make a difference. Let's do it together. Let's see. I think we can put contempt, conservative, confusion. Watch out. <laughs> oh, it's OK. Don't give up. Let's try it again. This time, I think we can put compassion, collaboration, communication. Wow, well, see, we did it. We made a cure together. My patients don't have to pay much money for the medicine. They can have a cup of tea with the ultimate every day. It tastes great, and treatment is no longer suffering costly. Yes, and a, a tea man a day. Keep the tuberculosis away! Thank you! The fourth and fourth C, Vietnam 4.0. Zishi, start. Hey, and welcome to Epic Asia. I am Zizel Li, and thanks for joining us. Today, our target country is Vietnam, and we are happy to invite Ms. Lin to be our guest. 
policy over the past 20 years has helped Vietnam 4.0 hit the headlines, highlighting technology and innovation. Ms. Lin, as an entrepreneur in e-commerce, can you tell us how your business took off? Well, with the promotions of East Asian language learning, I passed the Taiwan Vietnamese proficiency test in college. Good! Language is the bridge of communication and culture exchange. Yes, then my virtue of industry of Stamia Corporation, I started out my business turning fish scales into bionic fiber. Fish scale fiber utilized biotechnology and have been did made a splash. But as we know, the garment that you make now is from a lot of stems, right? Uh, yeah, Lotus fabric. So, what is behind that change? Here is the story. VCR, please. As a Lotus farmer, I tried to survive by harvesting grains, but I still cannot make ends meet. And these stems are really a big waste. Rushing to a location. Okay, sure. Hey, lady, I'm here. Get down the stairs. I'll catch you. Thank you. Hey, that's moved. We need to put out a fire. Oh, thank God. The firefighters arrived so fast. How can I make it? I think it's because of advanced technology in Vietnam. You're right. The fire departments use the Internet of Things app in cosplay computing to integrate and analyze data and then creating a batch resolution sequence to tackle emergencies. Oh, no wonder Vietnam 4.0 has become phenomenal. But I wish I could benefit from it as well. Don't worry, someday you will. And Madden, I'm so sorry for the loss of your property. However, I think you should thank the farmer for saving your life. Yes, Lotus Farmer, I'm much obliged to you. Aha! I've come up with a good idea to help you out of your poverty. Really? How? Come with me. I'll take you to meet two of my friends, an engineer and a fiber developer. Hey, look at this straw. I think it will come in handy. It looks so cool. It must be really useful. Hi, Amber. Hmm, what do you see here? I thought I just denied my offer and said that I'm using fish scale to make fabric. Okay, I'm sorry, I was still stubborn. But believe me, I've turned over a new leaf. Turn to lotus leaf. Lotus leaf? Really? What am I talking uh, about? Are you kidding? You made me decide to use lotus leaf to make fabric? Exactly. Oh, this is Amber, a fiber developer. And this is Wanda, an engineer. And this is my neighbor, the lotus farmer. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Talk about lotus stem. I know when you break open the stem, you'll see the soft and delicate thread inside, which can be made into fabric. But it's too labor intensive. Don't worry. I devised these drones to prove the productivity and the quality of lotus fiber, combined with AI robots and big data computing. The production will be very efficient and effective. Besides, lotus fiber has unique properties. It is 100% waterproof and stain resistant. To sell a lot of effect. In addition, it's a green fiber, soft to touch and highly skin friendly. Yet, it will not develop an odor even if worn for a long time. It has cool sensation and comfort while during summer. It will be designer's choice for sure. Wow, sounds great. It will have many uses in the future. What are we waiting for? Let's cooperate. My huge daughter's part is our disposal. Bravo! Yeah, that's how I started to use the largest thing as a fiber. And to witness its prosperity, yes. But I still have one last question. What really makes your online garment store skyrocket? With e-commerce, how we shop is moving away from stores. But one strike against that is that it doesn't allow us to try on clothes before we buy them to see how it actually looks. So what do you turn to? Well, we enhance the digital shopping experience by introducing AR and VR. Brilliant! AR, augmented reality, and VR, virtual reality, bring the customer to see realistic stimulation of actually trying something on. Yes, it's crucial.
crucial to adjust our mindsets. Now, we know what technology takes Asia by storm, and Vietnam 4.0 is a huge success. Thanks for watching today's Zapping Asia. See you next time. Thank, Thank you. you. Cooperation means everything. Anna is a Taiwanese student who enjoyed her summer vacation in India. She, she loved the traditional cuisine and was impressed by the majestic Taj Mahal. She also has a sweet time with her homestay family, Mr. and Mrs. Chang Cha. Mr. Chang Cha is the manager of Tata Motors Limited, and Mrs. Chang Cha is a tea farmer. Anna is about to leave her beloved foreign country. However, we are going to insert the most updated video from India flood. The flood reportedly caused serious damage to the local economy, including the industry and agriculture. What's worse? Tens of thousands of flights are delayed. It has an impact on passengers. They are forced to stay here. Oh no, I'm subject to stay here longer. <gasps> Look outside the window. Our team farm is destroyed. Hello. Yes. Oh my god. What's happening, my honey? Is there something wrong with the company? Due to the terrible flood, our equipment are soaking water, and our production line has been stagnating. How could this have happened? I hope that someone can give us a hand. Oh, it strikes me about the overseas volunteers. Maybe my friends and I can help India restore its beauty and prosperity. This is NGTV. Reporting live at the disaster scene in India. We can see volunteers across the world working hard at the tea farm. Scientists from Taiwan and India collaborate to design the waterproof machines, as well as water and drought resistant tea plants, in hope of minimizing the damage of natural disasters caused by climate change. I'm wondering why the electricity isn't cut off during a disaster. In Taiwan, we have to prepare candles and flashlights in case a typhoon strikes. It all contributes to Shiva, whose mouth is a white bull. Most of our appliances are powered by the countdown patties, and we call it Gaiku Bake. We have been taking good advantage of it for centuries. How wise your ancestors are! It's not only eco-friendly, it also cut down on the number of ways. Plus, people all around the world can buy it on Amazon Shopping online platform. You know what? Taiwanese scientists are devoted to eco-friendly energy. Really? Yeah, and the subject of our science fiction is about biomass energy. Our company invested in the biomass energy recently. Perhaps I can help you out. Yay! Ten days later. Due to the assistance from volunteers, India recovers from the flood and all flights are back to normal. That's when our party is at hand. Don't wear a surface. We can keep in touch by some new media such as Instagram and Facebook. Always keep in mind that India is your second hometown. Thanks for treating me like your own child. I really learned a lot and have an entirely different opinion toward India. This is nothing. We have to thank you for the hand you gave in time. What's more, due to the brainchild of cooperation between Taiwan and India, we no longer need to worry about the severe damage caused by the natural disasters. Yeah, cooperation truly brings better lives. To make the world a better place, I'm in. Thank you for your attention.
。第五队表演的题目是 reshaping， 计时开始。
my company is working with an inventing and trying to invent automatic sensing system. It helps people to escape more quickly. Eh? It sounds like a great invention. I'll help you restore the system in your restaurant so that other people can use it in their houses as well. Great! By the way, I took your advice. I make the peanut now. Want to give it a try? Of course. Yummy! Next time, I'll bring my friends to try it. Deal. I'll miss you. Take care and hope to see you soon. Bye. The sixth question is, Where have we gone is half done? The reverse of sweet potato balls. Hi, my name is Buzz. I'm the proud owner of this sweet potato ball stand. Today, business is as good as always. Hey, Jess, don't you have some sweet potato balls? Sure. Hi, Buzz. Two bags of sweet potato balls, please. Two bags of sweet potato balls coming right up. Thank you. Thanks. Oh my gosh, these sweet potato balls are so good. How come we don't have this in Vietnam? I will definitely miss this when we go back. Yeah, it's such a pity. I hope we can get this in Vietnam someday. <sighs> what happened to the tourists here? The numbers of tourists have decreased. There are fewer customers that are willing to come to my stand. Hey, boss. One back, please. Sure. What's wrong? Without the customers, I can't gain profit to keep my stand open anymore. What? Your stand is my favorite stand of all. You can't possibly close it. Oh, it reminds me that recently, the Vietnamese government is trying to build the biggest night market in my home country. Maybe you can try to do a business over there instead. A new business in another country? But I don't speak Vietnamese. And what if there are no customers? There are just too many problems. Don't worry about it. There is an organization called Taiwan Desk, and it helps Taiwanese business investors get started on the business. And I'm sure people there will love your sweet potato balls. Taiwan Desk. It might actually work. Hmm. All right then. I have decided that I shall be moving my business to Vietnam. Taiwan, and I'm here to start a business. Great! What would you like to do for your business? Back in Taiwan, I make sweet potato balls for a living. Oh, I just happen to have a bag of sweet potato ball. Here, have some. Oh my god, it's really good. As you may know, we've been working on a night market here. I think you should open your stand there. I'm sure people will love it. Yeah, I think I can start my new business there, but what can I start with? Don't worry, let me help you with that. First, since we're in a completely different country, the taste of the people will be different as well. What we would like are sweet and sour stuff. Yeah, I can make some new flavors, like chocolate or plum or so on. Yeah, you got it. I can introduce you to some manufacturers to help you with the ingredients you need. Next, we have to help you find some employees. According to the Vietnamese law, the legal working hours of an employee are eight hours a day and six days a week. Whoa, that's actually a useful information. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm sure with our help, you'll do just fine. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I wish I could have a piece of land in Vietnam so I can live here and have a bigger business. Can a foreigner like me buy a piece of land in Vietnam? Well, I'm not exactly the pro in this field. However, I do know someone that can help. Hey, Jess, could you come over here? Sure. Buzz? Jess, you work here? Yeah, that's right. I'm the consultant here. And usually, I help people consulting about the ownership of the land. Buzz here is wondering if he can have a piece of land of his own. Well, I've got other words to do. I'll leave him to you. OK, bye. So according to Vietnamese land law, the ownership of the land belongs to the country. And thus, foreigners are not allowed to own a piece of land of their own. But luckily, you can rent places to run your business, though. Oh, it's a relief to hear that. Now, I think I'm ready to start my new business. Yeah, 
And if you have other questions, I'm more than willing to help. And good luck with the business. Thanks. Look at all those customers. This is it. I finally did it. Hey, boss. I would like a bag of your sweet potato balls. A bag of sweet potato balls coming right up, my most loyal customer. Hey, Buzz, how's your business doing? It's been such a long time since we last saw. My business is doing great, thanks to your help and, of course, the help of my beautiful wife. Hey, Andy Woody, long time no see. Hey, hey, Jess, I see life been treating you too well. <laughs> Indeed it has. With the financial problems gone, we won't have to worry about our baby's future anymore. <laughs> I'm so glad that he made the decision of coming here. Thank you. The second question for the performance is Bright Coffee, Brighten Your Day. Let's start. How many times have I told you not to spend so much time on social media? You make, you're making me worry, Tiffany. Dad, I have finished my homework. You don't seem yourself today. You look so unhappy. What is really bothering you? Well, I came to Vietnam because of the new southbound policy. I see the opportunity of quality coffee. But I don't want to just be a supplier. Oh. Dad, look, I was chatting with Caroline online, and you know her parents are coffee gourds. Perhaps we can visit their farm. That's a great idea. We can check it out next time. being here must be extraordinary. Certainly. It might be the world's best. We promote the idea of organic farming and sustainable agriculture. Besides, we have fertile land and some the most hardworking farmers. We're very impressed by your green agriculture and drip irrigation system. Speaking of the drip system, Mom, it was built by the Taiwan expert. Wasn't it? Yes. After installing the system, the yields doubled in just one year. Oh, really? It's three years ago. A group of Taiwanese specialists Taiwanese. came here, and they understood our difficulties. So they decided to help us. At that time, we were facing the water shortage, and we lacked the technology for efficient farming. But. They helped us set up the system and installed black water pipes. Wow. These pipes can dispense water efficiently, and they also cut down on the cost. It's amazing. I'm so proud of being a Taiwanese. Well, if you can produce the best coffee beans, then how come we have never heard of a world-famous Vietnamese coffee? Hmm, pretty ironic, isn't it? But, you know, the Vietnam War not only caused injuries and death, but also left behind serious soil pollution. For years, we've been working very hard to prove this then to be organic and clean. But still, it's hard to change the views of the public. Oh, come on. It's a beautiful farm. And it's a shame that we can't have advertised it. Why not create a brand for a coffee? Like that. Like this? Yes. How is that supposed to work? A good story. Every successful story. brand has a touching story behind it. And we can promote our ideas in the social media. Yes, we can post a story on Facebook or Instagram. That's a super idea. I'm sure we can create a brand named coffee together. So. What would you think would be a perfect name for a coffee? Perfect name. Hmm. Well, 
I love the bright sunshine here, perhaps. Bright coffee. Ooh, bright great. coffee. Good, Good name. Coffee. But girls, we need a catchy phrase to advertise a product. Oh no, a catchy phrase? Hmm. Bright coffee. Bright. Bright. Bright coffee. Brighten your day. Oh, oh yes. yes. Bright coffee. Brighten your day. Look, isn't it amazing? Yes, our previous talk about green agriculture, like about the world, has received favorable responses from the public. Oh my, it's the internet. It's new to me. See, we can make a difference. Honestly, because of our creative ideas, we see a turn in the crisis. Our collaboration has created a win-win situation. Win-win situation. Come on, let's share our success. Cheers. Bright, Bright coffee. coffee. Brighten your day. Thank you. The fifth performance the topic is "On Way to South: The Way to Go Green." Oh yeah, we are here again in Indonesia. Blue ocean, clear sky, and beautiful scenery. What, what a paradise. paradise! Hi, how are you? Hey friends, nice to see you again. It's been a long time since we last met. We haven't seen each other since the Asia Games in Jakarta. Yeah, I can never forget the day I went to Jakarta to be international volunteer. And that's where I met you. You're my first Taiwanese friend. You're also my first Indonesia friend. By the way, do you remember the badminton championship? Of course! Dai Jin and Jonathan, they are just awesome. We Indonesians are not only famous for badminton, but also for our beautiful blue sea. See? The sea here is really beautiful. Raining and sometimes cold in Taiwan now. The sea is so blue and clear. I can even see a pink jellyfish swimming here. Oh, and a green fish. Uh, it's not a jellyfish. Actually, it's a plastic bag. And this is a debris of a plastic bottle. In fact, we are not facing serious marine plastic pollution. To be honest, Indonesia is the second highest plastic bag contributor in Asia. Some unscrupulous businessmen even throw tons of plastic ware into the ocean in order to reduce the cost of processing it. Oh, I've seen clips on YouTube reported that marine wildlife such as seabirds, whales, fishes, and turtles must save plastic waste for prey. And most die of starvation as the stomachs are filled with plastic debris. We must do something to help the ocean. So, our scientist, Kevin Kumula, invented this. Uh, I don't see there's any difference. It seems to be the same, but it's very degradable. It can be even dissolved in the water. Most important of all, it's edible. It's made of cassava starch. Edible plastic bag? Incredible! Cassava starch is the ingredient of the pearls in boba milk tea. What a brilliant idea! The marine animals could free from the threat of plastic bags. We Taiwanese consume a lot of plastic bags every day. If this plastic bag could be sold in Taiwan, it would be very popular. When it comes to plastic bottles, I got something to show you. Look at this. I know! It's a soccer jersey! Is there anything about plastic bottles? In fact, this soccer jersey is applied in FIFA Football World Cup. Despite the fact, Taiwan has not even qualified for World Cup competition on the field. Many of jerseys, cleats, and protective gear have been worn at the World Cup. Even the bones have been made in Taiwan. We Chinese scientists developed a technique to make soccer jerseys 
with recycled plastic bottles. Seriously? It's not only stylish, but also eco-friendly. Let me show you something special. Wow! wow. What's this? An ornament? Is it beautiful? This is a floor tiles. Did you do that? No. My father gave me this. He works in many ways. A Taiwanese company. His company aims to do something to meet people without harming the environment. I know that. This is called sustainable development. Check this video. This is the machine trash vessel. It converts plastic bottles into floor tiles. See? It could be work at any place. Indonesia certainly needs this. Uh, maybe I can call my father to see if he could help us. Then no Indonesia will throw away the trash plastic bottles. And no sea animal will die from plastic debris. Great. We exchange our knowledge and it is all called International Cooperation. Refuse to use plastic products. Remember, Remember to recycle and reuse. No plastic is fantastic. Thank you. The fifth team's question is Taiwan number one. Number one, let's start. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the International Youth Design Competition. I'm today's hostess, Kenny. Nowadays, teenagers are so creative. Could you share your idea with us? Sure. We are from Taiwan. This year, we apply another innovative idea to our robot design. Taiwan number one, the Seaban robot. I'm all ears, and I believe that our audience can wait to hear more. Well, we like to think of the seed bank robot as a future of farming. Of the 7,000 species of plants used for agriculture around the world, only 30 crops make up the world's diet. That is about 0.43%. And wheat, corn, and rice account for more than half of that amount. So... So, we designed a seed bank robot in case someday these crops disappear which is an effective solution to the problem with a nature disaster, wiping out the majority of wheat and other important crops. Sounds awesome. So how does the seed bank function? Think of the seed bank as a saving account. Seeds are deposited into a secure storage with an intention of withdrawing them in the future when they are needed. When stored correctly, this can remain viable for decades or even centuries. Wow! Is there an efficient way for farmers to find specific seeds in times of need? Sure! That's the reason why we designed a robot! Taiwan number one! Do you see these different kinds of blocks? And each block represents a different kind of seed? Yes! And once we feed a robot different colors of blocks, it can classify the blocks into different zones. Do you want to give it a try? So, I just feed a robot a green block. And it'll be classified it into a green zone. Wow, the robot made it! This demonstrates that the robot can efficiently help farmers find all the seeds in need. That's really cool. There's more. Taiwan number one can also help people cultivate different kinds of seeds according to their properties of the soil and a given environment. Last but not least, the robot can distinguish which crops are safe for consumption and which crops are best used to make a fertilizer for future plants. That's really amazing. I hope you guys win the Design of the Year award. can get an international recognition, please. Please. One, two, three, go. Oh. Please, please. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to announce the winner of the Design of the Year Awards. After hours of celebration, 
our judges have decided to declare the winner goes to Taiwan! Oh my god! I can't believe it! We won! Taiwan! Taiwan! Congratulations for winning the international recognition you richly deserve. Or as you say in Taiwan, Gongxi, Gongxi, I'm certain Asian can't wait to begin working with you. It's an honor to receive this prestigious award. We really hope Taiwan can do something for the world. Taiwan will spend no effort to create a new model of economic, helping drive growth and prosperity for the entire region. You will! Thanks a million! Thank you. Thank you. One day in the cafeteria of a Taiwanese university. Being a resident of this island, I can't take this anymore. I got injured because of the power outage last night while I was taking a shower. How can we live a life like this? Good afternoon. I am the Minister of the Energy Department in Cambodia. We apologize for the inconvenience brought by the power outage on Koh Rong Island. My hometown! It was caused by the poor transmission of electricity. We are trying our best to repair the damage. Guess what? That's so true. This happens so frequently on our island that we don't even reckon it as news. Gee, that's a quite serious problem. Yes. That is actually one big reason I came here to Taiwan to study optoelectronics. I hope one day I can build a reliable power station for my hometown. Now that's an issue. Uh, um, hold on, it's about class time. Yeah, we can ask the professor for any possibilities. Sure, let's go. Good afternoon, guys! Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Professor, Professor Lee. Lee. We'd like to ask you something about power plants. Why do you ask? We wonder if we can build one in my hometown to solve the electricity mm. issues. Oh, I see. In Taiwan, we surely have this kind of technical experience. There's an island called Dongjiu in Penghu County with a self-contained and eco-friendly power plant. This one sees our needs. Yeah. Cool. Can you tell us more about it? Sure. Let me show you how the system works. In Dongjiu, through the intelligent microgrid and solar power monitoring and optimal load management, electricity is distributed automatically to the residential area. This way, the island becomes a green island with up to 93% of its electricity being renewable energy. Wow. That sounds feasible. Yeah, we can definitely do it. I believe in you too. I'm sure that your cooperation and devotion will provide a better environment for your society. Let's get started. So what are you going to do One week later, they have finished the proposal, but... No, that's not the problem! Yes, it is! No, it can't How many be. times do I have to tell you it is the problem? Wait, what's wrong? Professor Lee, we are in such a big trouble. Yes, we lack professional technicians to complete the project. No, it's not the problem. If we don't have the high-quality equipment, we cannot renovate the old plants into our newly designed no, ones. No, no, no. The limited money should be used on technicians first. Without the technicians, we can't make sure every system to function smoothly and effectively. Yours can be done later. Mine should be top hey, priority. Calm down, guys. Maybe there's a lightness policy that may solve your problem. What, what is it? it? It's a new southbound policy, which incorporates industrial innovations and talents. But what about the financial part? Oh, as for this, it offers some programs for investment. Wow, that's exactly what we need. Yes, I'll modify our proposal and contact the staff concerned. Good for you. Yes, so if, if, if we, we move this budget here, right here, it will all be G, 
Two years later, through the effort and hard work of the two students, the opening ceremony is finally held on Korong Island. Good afternoon, everyone. Cambodia would like to express our gratitude for the technology of Taiwan and our outstanding students from both of our countries. The techniques of Taiwan is worthy of worldwide promotion and recognition. It is hoped that more opportunities of collaboration will be coming soon in the future. Now, let us welcome the representative of the residents. Thank you, Minister. Because of the new power plant, we now benefit from a stable electricity source. We don't have to suffer from the power outage anymore. Thank you. And thank you. Today, right here, let us all witness this grand opening of a new and better generation. <laughs> and now, let's on. A new epicenter for cultural difference. Ah, oh, this is so hard. We've been at this for hours, and the closest thing we've gotten to introducing Taiwan is we've got stinky tofu and boba milk tea. I know, it's crazy. How can this be so hard? We are Taiwanese, it shouldn't be this hard. I cannot, and I mean, I cannot retake 10th grade English. I already planned so much for winter. So, how are we going to do this? What makes Taiwan so special? Well, I'm not sure if this counts, but isn't Taiwan sort of an underdog? What's an underdog? You know, for, for example, who do you think would win? A T-Rex or a bee? Of course, a T-Rex. How could a bee win? Exactly! That would make the bee the underdog, the person you wouldn't expect to win. So, then how is Taiwan an underdog? Well, just over a hundred years ago, we were both invaded and thrown away more times than I can count. We are still fighting for our independence against China, which is like several times bigger than us. Oh, we shouldn't forget that we're also still fighting against the ignorance and ridicule for wanting our own independence. We're like the definition of underdog. All right, that's really good. Keep going. And because of this, we try to become something more. We did build the ninth tallest skyscraper in the world. We have steady economy. And you know, teenagers in Taiwan are pretty energetic, just like me. And also, we got Ann Lee. We also shouldn't forget, we're also a very culturally open and welcoming country. You are right. We got a lot of association dedicated to giving people a chance to study here and abroad. So, what are some trademarks you think Taiwan has? Well, although we have a few hundred years of history, we've met every year rich with dignity and virtue. Well, I've never had the feeling of homesickness here. Everywhere I went, I felt bits and pieces of home everywhere. Why is that? Well, as you guys might know, I'm from the Philippines, and I always thought I'd miss everything I loved and cherished as a kid, but in reality, I haven't. For example, when I was a kid, I loved these weird little candies and snacks, and I never thought I'd get to try them again. But just a few minute bus drive and I can buy them all at these Southern East grocery stores. Oh, I've been to one of those. I remember seeing a lot of Filipinos and people from Thailand and Singapore. I even brought this noodle from Thailand. It said, mild spicy. Lost liars! That's because the article I read about Taiwan. I think it was called um, the Southbound Policy where Taiwan is trying to revitalize its relationship with neighboring countries. Wait, but didn't the Taiwanese president arise criticism for that? Yeah, she did, but any choice will incur criticism, you know. Yeah, I guess that's true, but do you agree with her decision? Well, I'm not against it, I'm not beside it. I think she's just trying to be an advocate of reinvention. 
or an advocate of destruction. She might secretly be a foreign spy tasked to infiltrate the very seams of our country and tear us down from the inside. Oh my god! If that's true, then we have to prepare our weapons and get ready to... Guys, stop messing around. Don't you guys want to go home? He started it. Dude, you kept it going. Hey, you go back. Uh, um, okay. Last question. What are some problem facing Taiwan that should be rectified or boycotted? There is still the improper mistreatment of some Southeast Asian foreigners. Yeah, I'm guessing people from less developed countries or areas. And you know as the saying goes, the, you can't change the past. A habit's hard to kill. There, there, oh, we should be focused on our fate of humanity rather than the fate of ourselves. Yeah, if we look back on the past, people who really changed the world were the people who were willing to set aside their own desire, not to follow their own agenda, but to follow the agenda of everybody. Let's just say, people who are courageous enough to stand up and fight back, they will succeed in the end. So, are we done? Um, let me see. All right, we are all good. We can go home now. All right! Bow. Thank, Thank you. you. When the medical breakthrough goes south bomb, 计时开始. Okay, okay, bye. Hi, Nairo. Hey, how did your summer go? Well, I just went back to Taiwan. Oh, really? Yeah, and I've heard that you went back to your hometown in Java and became a volunteer there, right? Yeah, I did go back and work at a local health center and help take care of patients. That must have been a great experience. Not really. You know, it's depressing to see that they still lack doctors and medical resources. But there are still volunteers like you that can help them, right? Well, since it's far away from the cities, volunteers are only a temporary solution. Oh, why isn't there anything, anyone that can help solve this problem? Ouch! Who put this in the middle of the hallway? I'm really sorry. Are you okay? Thanks. I'm a junior exchange student from Thailand. Sadika. Sadika. So, what are you working on? This is an incredible, superb, groundbreaking invention. You can call it AI. AI? Is it apple ice cream? It sounds delicious. No, what kind of flavor is that? Come on. AI stands for artificial intelligence. It can process large amounts of data analyze them, and solve challenging problems. Oh really? Since it's artificial intelligence, can it pick up medical knowledge? Yeah, that way we can help more people in need. Well, I've never thought of it. What for? Well, we want to help the villagers in her hometown, which lacks medical resources. You're a great inventor, and we believe that we can make it more practical. Then, let's try it. these days. 
days, some of them had swollen toes and the others had itches all over. That sounds horrible. Mm. Do you feel uncomfortable too? Yes, I have high fevers <coughs> and muscle pain. Can you help us? It's all right. We have a new medical machine here. If you use it to do a checkup, it can tell you if you're sick or not. Apart from the diagnosis, it can also prescribe medicine to cure the disease. Don't worry, I've tried it myself. Okay, I trust you guys. Please put your hand here. Let me see. Oh no, you've got malaria! Am I, am I going to die? Don't be sad, the machine will give you oral medication. Wow, here comes the medicine.